Hello everyone, in this video we are trying to learn about this package called Awesome Spectral Indices. Uh, this indeed is awesome because we can generate or calculate uh, different spectral indices uh, in few lines of codes. And this begins with this line here and this is the way to load the Arthlington package. Uh, we are using the um, this uh, string here, and this string leads to the uh, developer's uh, written functions. And here we provide this to the uh, variable in spectral. And let us print this one, uh, print spectral, and also dot indices. And if we see this, the first one results as the different things uh, that's in this uh, package. And from this package, uh, we're just selecting dot indices. And here we see the 201 properties. And this a number uh, is the different indices that you can see. So we can see there are about 200 indices for different purposes and this package helps to calculate uh, the different indices so um, so we know that there are 201 uh, indices for example to learn about the indices and to learn about the formula there are two different methods and um, let me remind you that uh, this all these things are in the uh, in the main page of github and we're trying here to uh, learn something from how uh, to calculate the indices. So here, uh, spectral dot indices and providing dot NDVI, uh, we learn about the indices, or this can also be done with um, this big bracket here, and inside we can write NDVI or any other name of the indices. And this gives us the information about the indices. And to learn about the formula, of the indices for example uh, the indices uh, may be new for us and we might want to know what the formula is so this is uh, done again with dot formula or inside this big bracket so you can run this so here we have the information about the uh, this indice uh, indices that is NDVI we have your bands uh, we have an application domain we have the contribution contributor and other information such as state of addition and formula and these two are doing the same thing this dot ndvi and this one and also we have the formula here and these two lines of codes are resulting in the same thing and this is helpful for um, other indices uh, which we might not know before because there are 200 different indices uh, and we might not have idea about other indices so in that case we can use this and learn about the indices so let us uh, begin the process this example is given in the page as well so what we do here is we provide the data set and we're selecting the image and then we provide some scale uh, this is just the multiplication with some constant uh, to change the units or change the value and then after we have the parameters so we select the um, we select the bands here so n is for band 8 and r is for band 4 so this is the particular method because uh, in formula as you can see here n and r uh, has the term the term has been used and uh, this letter has to be same uh, in this case. So this band 8 and band 4 uh, are given to these uh, letters. After that we do spectral and dot compute index uh, with capital I and then we have the uh, this uh, image and then we have the um, this uh, NDVI or it can be any other spectral uh, properties and then we provide the parameters 
and this computes the NDVI. So you can see NDVI will be added at the last here if we see in the bands. So this has been added at the last. Similarly, um, if we want to do for different spectral indices, this can again be done with the same thing. Now we are doing inside this big brackets and we are calculating two other indices here. And here we are providing the constant. And if we run this again, we can see that two more indices has been added at the very end. So we do not need to write that function dot normalized difference every time and this saves our time. So you can see here at the very end we have now um, two different indices and this NDVI has been repeated because we just did it before. So we can comment this for now. So this applies for um, any other data set. So for example here, we do this for the sentinel one. Let us do for the sentinel one. And for the sentinel one, uh, this again begins with the selection of the data set. Uh, we are filtering our data set with the geometry. And here is the filter date. And we are uh, doing this dot median at the end. And we can see uh, the data set. And we can check the formula. For example, here is the vertical dual uh, depolarization index. And we can check the formula. And for this, uh, here we have added uh, four different spectral indices. This is for the um, sentinel one. And here we have uh, writing this unique um, abbreviated form of these uh, spectral indices. VDDPI, VVV, HD, and so on. And for that, we're selecting the bands. The VV will refer to the VV and uh, VH will be for the VH. And we can run this. So if you see here, uh, we had the three bands on the very fast. VV and VH. And let's not forget that uh, there are other bands uh, of sentinel one in the poles. But this is somewhere in the, um, not exactly at the equator, but somewhere at the center, so um, other bands won't be there, so there will be only VV and VH uh, for our case. So, and it's here we can see the formula. Dot formula is giving us the formula to understand uh, the indices. And now we can see, uh, as we have added four more bands to our uh, image, we can see that uh, four different bands have been added. So you can see here. So these, uh, these are uh, different uh, indices for our signal one. And we can see and we can select uh, these bands and again add them as the layer. So in this way, uh, we do not need to uh, write the function every time or we do not need to write the longer function. This could have been done in other way as well, but uh, we can just uh, write uh, in that way in a very single line and we can calculate that. And similarly, we can do a function here. For this, um, what we are doing here is, again, we are selecting the Landsat 9, uh, we have our image collection, we have our filter bounds, we have our filter date, and we are developing a function. For that, 
uh, we select different bands we provide the constant uh, because I'm already aware of different uh, indices I know uh, which are, uh, what these uh, indices need so I have provided the constant I have provided the uh, different bands to these uh, letters and we need to be sure uh, what each uh, indices need we can just check by dot formula or or understand about the indices so here we are returning the value of this ndvi evi nvr and nvr2 and we can map the function and this is the way to map the function dot map and if we run this So more bands will be added at the very end. So you can see here, this is the image collection. If we check the first image, and in the bands we have now NDVI, EVI, NBR, and NBR2. So the advantage of this uh, package here is that it is absolutely uh, saving our time and it is also giving us uh, the time to learn more about the indices uh, if we are new to the uh, indices and uh, this also can be applied uh, with the function here and this is very helpful and this indeed is um, awesome and that's why the name has been given awesome spectral indices so I hope uh, this video is helpful um, so thank you for watching, uh, any comments are welcome.